D2DNY Real World HVAC Simplified Today I'm going to show you a little trick if you work on critical units critical sites this here is a Liebert and Liebert units are only critical Liebert doesn't do anything for comfort cooling you could probably use it if you like on comfort setup but they are precision cooling critical data center um, computer rooms stuff like that that's what Liebert does so I had a service call on this unit right here the transformer was tripped this here is a remote condensing unit all right so you have the compressors downstairs in the air handler um, and up here is just the fans with the coil so let me just show you these controls right here fan contactors so I'm trying to recreate this transformer was tripped all right on the service call so I'm trying to recreate it it's not happening I'm just gonna go ahead and change all these contactors because sometimes the uh, the resistance value um, in the calls they are low and they are you know inductive so they will give you a you know high amperage draw whenever it activates you know so I'm gonna replace those but here's a call So, yeah, so we got a remote condensing unit. It is a Liebert precision cooling system. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you a trick, which actually when I got here today, that got me, you know what I'm saying? That got me just for a little bit of while because I know I know the workaround. So, you know, we, uh, to get into the, uh, the, the controller to adjust set points and make changes, um, there's a password involved and you know sometimes you know if it's an old these are this particular type of Liebert is an older unit and so the uh the code sometimes you know people could change the code the client could change the code other contractors could change the code you know um, so this particular uh site i'm going to show you if you are doing Lieberts and you run into this problem and this particular model model uh you can do this trick right here and um, be able to get, get around the password. All right, so stay tuned for that. So there you go. Here's the controls for the Liebert. And I'm gonna go into the actual menu here. I'm going to alarm data. history so there it is I had pressures that's the reason why I'm here and that was uh, Let me show you what I'm talking about for the password. Escape. Now typically the password is uh, from the factory default is one two three one two three is a password if i go ahead and i go one enter three. incorrect all right so i want to show you how to go around that this is just to show you what the, what the unit looks like inside again it's a remote condenser remote condensing unit Condensers are on the roof. Discharge line and liquid line going up. Discharge line. 
liquid line, discharge line, liquid line. Oh, it's hot. Let me show you real quick what's going on here. That's your discharge line and it's climbing. It's going to go all the way up. But anyways, let me get back, show you what I'm talking about for getting around that password. This dips uh, switch number SW number one. SW number one or SW one, you you flip switch number eight to the off position. Okay, so this this switch number eight was on. Okay, it was on. That was on. So I flipped it down to off. And let's go look at our passwords if we still need it. All right. So if we press enter into here, let's just escape with that for a little bit. Now my set point has been changed. No password. Let's, let me start all the way over. Escape all the way out. Okay. Menu. Set point set up. Okay, 16 is the set point. Let's enter. 70. That's it. No passwords. Now if I go back in and flip that switch, then the password is going to password is going to be required. Okay, so I'm gonna... All right. Now let's go see about the password. Here you go. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like it, subscribe. This is D2DNY Real World HVAC Simplified.